Hey, this is Max, and today I'm here to talk about resolution. Resolution is a sort of confusing spec in the world of 3D scanning. Typically, when people think of resolution, they think of a length and width measurement of pixels. But in 3D scanning, we're dealing with three dimensions of resolution, not to mention that we're also scanning a variety of different object sizes. Let's take a look at some of the different terms used to describe resolution in the world of 3D scanners. First, let's look at a very common one. Point distance, or minimum point distance, is the closest that two data points can get to each other. If you don't know, 3D objects made through 3D scanning are typically made by capturing hundreds of thousands or even millions of points and placing them in a virtual 3D space. This collection of data points floating in 3D space is called a point cloud. Then this point cloud is used to construct a mesh through various means of interpolation. A mesh is essentially just a solid 3D object. But if you're watching this, you probably already know that, so just know that if you can get points closer together, that means that you have the potential to capture smaller details. While point distance is a very common way to measure resolution in the 3D scanner space, it's far from the end-all be-all. This is because point distance doesn't actually measure the density or amount of points, which is very important for the point distance to actually matter. But fear not, most of the time, it's a pretty good indicator. Spatial resolution is another spec you might see. It's closer to what you might expect from the word resolution. It's typically measured in data points per centimeter or millimeter. It's not to be confused with how, say, a TV measures resolution, which is a static measurement of pixels. For example, if you were to make a really big 4K TV, it wouldn't look as good as a smaller 4K TV. This is because you're making the pixel size bigger and thus lowering its spatial resolution. Unlike point distance, which technically only measures how points can get, spatial resolution gives you an idea of the density of points within a given distance. However, technically both still do the same thing in terms of measuring distance between data points. So there's that. So which one's better? Well, in my opinion, both are fine. Um, there's actually little difference between them. But spatial resolution technically does give a better indicator of quality. But point distance generally gets the job done too. There are very few scanners where the expectation I got from the point distance didn't really meet reality. To get the best idea of a scanner's quality, you should seek out examples, demos, and first-hand experience. Because a lot of the time, stat sheets can give you the wrong idea, or maybe the figures are just a little optimistic. There's a lot of variables in the equation for the quality of your scan, um, besides resolution. So let's talk about some of those. Now, it goes without saying that whatever scanner you buy, uh, it should be bought based on your application. But let's think about how that plays into resolution. If you're scanning much larger objects, they won't gain as much from having a closer point distance. Um, you know, especially if you don't care that much about getting those really small, fine details. Or even an impressive spatial resolution might actually, in fact, make your scan slower and bloat your file size and your processing times. Most scanners have a way to reduce the resolution, but if you're scanning primarily large objects, I would really look for a scanner that prioritizes them. And by that, I mean a scanner that prioritizes its scanning speed, its field of view, and how the tracking performs with large objects. Most of the scanners in Shining 3's EinScan lineup will usually have a rapid scan mode or a different scan mode, which will essentially trade some resolution for some scanning speed, field of view, and some new tracking features, which is very great, makes the scanner very versatile. So that's something I always look for. And um, I guess the main takeaway from that would be uh, if you're scanning super large objects, don't be too fixated on resolution because it's not as important. Other stats like accuracy play a big role as well. A uh, quick summary of accuracy in the context of 3D scanning. It's essentially how comparable the position of the data point is in a 3D virtual space with its real life counterpart. What I'm trying to say here is that being able to put a lot of points close together is meaningless unless you can place them correctly. This is not usually a concern for most scanners, but it can't explain why some scanners don't produce results as good as their resolution would suggest, but most of the time that isn't a problem. And we'll have a dedicated video to accuracy in the future to expand upon that a little. So one last thing, I know I touched on this earlier, in terms of resolution, but it goes for all specs, is that while resolution can be a great indicator of your quality, the proof is in the pudding. Look at scans, ask for demos, and get your hands on the scanner. 
Only then are you really going to know what the scanner you are looking at is capable of. At UMAX, we provide our customers with free demos for any scanner so you know exactly what you're buying and what your results are going to look like. We can do them online or in person. If you're interested in a scanner and would like to request a demo, feel free to contact us on our website at umax.com. And thanks for watching.